everyone. It's Melanie here with Vintage Hill Studio. Today I have a fun little Christmas card, the Holly Jolly Santa. And this is using dies and embossing folders to enhance those dies. First off, I've got a pre-made four and a quarter by five and a half inch card set. So I'll be using one of those and this 11 piece die set from Momenta. The die set alone is just adorable. But wait until you add some additional features using embossing folders. It just takes it up a whole nother level here. So much fun and so easy to do. So I will get out the dies that I'm going to be using today. I'm not going to use everything in this 11 piece set, just the Santa face, his hat, and a few of his facial features, and that's it. So let's jump in and get this card going. Okay. I've got all my dies set aside. I'm going to bring over my Sizzix Big Shot and you can cut out several things at one time. As you can see, I'm cutting out all the white parts to my card this week. And then I will move on and do the little red on his hat, a pink nose, some black eyes, and I'll be done. So very quickly, you can get all of this cut out, especially if you put multiple dies on at the same time for the same colors like I did here. So there's all my die cuts. And then I'll be using these two embossing folders. And by the way, all the supplies and dimensions for today's card can be found in the description below my YouTube video. So if you're interested, just pop on down there and see that. So this Holiday Sentiments 5x7 embossing folder, as you could see, had three different textures, which is really helpful when making this little Santa. So first off, I'm using the swirly pattern for his beard. Comes out so cute. This is one of my favorite tools, the Sizzix Texture Boutique. It is only for embossing folders, so you cannot do die cuts with this little tool. But boy, is it wonderful for the smaller embossing folders like this. This is a four by six embossing folder. You can use even smaller ones. It will not do the 3D embossing folders, um, or the 5x7 folders, but it's perfect for the smaller 4x6. Now I'm going to bring over the Holiday Sentiments folder, and I will be doing his little hat band with the dots, and the little ball that goes on his hat, the little white fur, I'm going to do with this little chevron texture. And for that, I need to bring over my Sizzix Big Shot and go over to the last um, plate on here and run it through as an embossing folder. And there you've got the texture on the hat band and the little ball that goes on the end of his hat. So, so cute. Look at all that texture. Just a couple of running through with your embossing folder and oh my gosh, you can add so much interest to your die cuts. So I'll get this guy put together very quickly I'm using very little glue, just starting with his face and beard, and then I found it's easier than trying to glue on all the accessories to just add a few dots to the main face here. So I'll get his hat put on and just keep going here. I hope you all are ready for Christmas. Uh, it's coming up very quickly here. and For me, it's been such a busy, busy time that is just right around the corner. So trying to finish up these cards before the whole holiday is over. And I hope you're doing well on your crafting and creating of your Christmas cards as well. Okay, you can see how quickly this little guy goes together here. And again, I love adding the details with the embossing folder. So we've got a lot of texture going on in just this little tiny Santa face. You've got his swirly beard, his dots on his hat band, and the little chevron pattern on his the ball of the hat. So anyway, I hope you will look through some of your die cuts and see if you can add a little extra texture as well. Just various die cuts would be great candidates for using with embossing folders. All right, getting his little, oh, and just by the way, that little pencil that I'm using, I picked that up at a craft fair. It's actually a white craft wax pencil. 
It is not for coloring in per se. It is just waxy and it helps pick up these little pieces and parts. So you can see I'm using very little glue here to get his eyes put down in those eyebrows. And this pencil picks up and releases so well that I really enjoy using it quite a bit. Again, it's just a wax pencil. So that helps me pick up these tiny little eyebrows and eyes and get those placed on my face. Almost done with our Santa here. And so that 24 set of cards and envelopes from Recollections, I picked that up at a Michael's store last year when everything was half off at the end of Christmas. So if you're interested, kind of, you know, keep that in mind that they start putting everything half off or sometimes up to 75% off after the holidays. All right, now to set off the face on the front of my card, I'm going to bring over a couple of ovals here, and I've already die cut these out of a light green and a darker green, just to put down on the front of that little plaid card. This will help my Santa face really stand out from the busyness of the plaid. Gluing that flat down, and then I have added a little bit of foam tape on the back of my Santa face just to give it a little bit more dimension on the front of my card. It doesn't make it bulky for male, but it does lift it a little bit off of that background of the ovals. So between the texture from the embossing folders and the foam tape, you're adding quite a bit to the front of your little pre-made card. Now on the inside, these are some tags that I picked up half price at the end of Christmas season last year. And it goes with the colors that I've used on the front of my card. So I'm going to take that little tag and run it through that same swirly pattern embossing folder that I used for Santa's beard. This is just going to cohesively tie my card together as the recipient looks from the front to the inside of the card. Will they notice? I don't know, but I did. And I had a lot of fun with that. So just, again, giving a little more um, texture to that tag for the inside of my card. So I've cut a little panel here using that same striped green paper that I used on the innermost oval. I'm putting that down inside my card. And then I'll just add my little tag. And we will be done with the inside of the card. So instead of stamping or die cutting Merry Christmas, I'm using these pre-made tags as well, trying to make life a little simpler. Thinking outside the box here, but what a nice little surprise when you open the card. So that finishes my card for today. I hope you got inspired to look at the die cuts that you have, see if you could look through your embossing folders See if anything strikes you as something that you might want to use on your die cuts just for a little more texture, pattern, and interest. Thank you so much for dropping by today. I hope you will give me a thumbs up, leave some comments. If you're not already a subscriber, I would love to have you as a subscriber to my channel. And I hope to see you again next week. Happy crafting, everyone!